very good morning friends i welcome you all to my youtube channel and uh, today's video is number 204 and uh, in today's session friends we will learn about the projection of solids and i have taken up for today's video a problem on triangular pyramid friends whenever you are working out a problem on engineering drawing first of all you have to go through the problem thoroughly collect the data given and based on that you have to move step by step friends here he says a triangular pyramid of base 30 mm and axis 60 mm long rests on one of its base edges on hp so friends here we have got the solid as a triangular pyramid triangular pyramid by definition will have a triangular base and all these edges have the same dimension whatever given that is 30 mm so this is ab bc ca all will have the same dimension and this base is an equilateral triangle and on the lateral surface friends you can see you have got 1 2 and 3 so there are three triangular faces on its lateral surface the number of triangular faces depends on the base a triangular pyramid will have three such triangles square will have four pentagon five and so on and all these triangles friends they are going to be the isosceles triangle they will have a base and height and these two sides will have the same dimension friends here this pyramid having a height height means what from the vertex or tip till the center of the base the dimension is called the axis or length or the height of the object it is resting on hp friends initial positioning of the object whether it is a solid or a lamina whatever it may be is very important and he says it is resting on its base on hp with one of the base edges perpendicular to vp so he says edges on hp such that the corner opposite to this first of all let us place it on hp it is resting on hp on one of the sides let us say it is resting on this side so whatever the side on which the object is going to rest that should come towards your right that is right side of the observer and obtain the top and front views of this solid so friends when you keep this lamina sorry the pyramid on hp with one of the edges perpendicular to that you will see in the top a triangle for the base that is an equilateral triangle and the vertex is connected or joined to all the three corners by straight line these three are called the slant edges of the solid so to start with i will place the lamina on hp so that one of the edges to the right side of the observer obtain the top and front views friends here let me write down the top view top view is going to be a triangle so this is the triangle and it has got a dimension 30 mm we will uh, name this corners as abc a b and c the side bc is now perpendicular to bp so friends locate the center by bisecting any two adjacent sides ab and bc suppose if you write a perpendicular bisector for these two sides they meet at a point here we will call this point as o we will join that o the vertex to all the corners and this is how the solid looks in the top view friends corresponding to this let us see the front view of the solid so just project lines from here line from here and these lines they meet 
on this x y line i will call this point as a dash the print view this is b dash c dash this is for this edge which is normal to vp and here you got o from o the vertex draw a vertical line and the height of the object is given to be 60 mm so i have taken 60 mm here the height of the solid and then after getting this height this is our point o dash since it is a pyramid we have to join this vertex to all the corners of the page so i am going to join o dash to a dash o dash to b dash and o dash to c dash and this point is o one dash that is the center of the bottom face that is o one o one dash friends in the print view we have got the solid resting on the base a dash b dash c dash on hp and if you observe the print view friends he says the object is resting on hp such that the corner opposite to this is 20 mm above hp so what does it mean friends so it is resting on side bc if you tilt the object to the right this corner a dash will move up up to what extent up to 20 mm so in the second position friends i am going to write a line here a horizontal line parallel to xy at the given distance of how much the distance is uh, 20 mm so i have taken 20 mm now i am going to redraw this figure here such that bc will be on this but this corner a dash will move up so friends i will take some point at random and draw a line here the line will have a length equal to this much so if this is point b dash c dash the corner a dash is here at a height of 20 mm as per the given question and friends the length of this and this are the same and after getting this let us locate o1 dash a vertical line from there we will call this as o dash and we have the dimension join this so i am going to join o to a o to b o to c friends whatever the figure i had here figure number 1 i have redrawn with the corner a 20 mm above hp the dimensions of these two are the same so always in all the problems i have been telling in all my videos the figure 1 and figure 2 are always identical whether it is the case of a lamina or a pyramid or a prism or a cylinder or a cone whatever it may be so friends after this object is tilted to the right so as to obtain a dash at a height of 20 mm as per the problem let us obtain the corresponding top view so friends we'll go in order one by one so we'll draw a vertical line from a a horizontal from here the point where these two intersect is point a so similarly b and c draw a vertical line from b a horizontal line from here the point of intersection will give you the point b likewise if you draw a horizontal line through this it meets here this point is c so a b c is the base in the top view so we'll get o the vertex a vertical line from o a horizontal from here they meet at this point so we'll call this as o friends you got all the three corners and o so let us join them now so how to join them friends remember in all the problems on solids planes or whatever it may be you will have the borders always there so i am going to join o to a o to a if you see when you look from the top o a is visible so i will draw this o a and here friends this o to c i will join o to b is also a dark line this is a to c and this is a to b we are joining friends if you observe in the top view the object is resting on the 
one of the base edges like this. So this base edge, which is perpendicular to VP, is not visible in the top view and hence this line joining B and C should be shown by a dotted line. Otherwise also, remember whenever two lines intersect, if one of them is known to be a visible line, a full line, other has to be necessarily a dotted line or an invisible line. Friends, you have got the top view corresponding to this. And friends, if you observe here, the BC, the edge BC on which the object is resting on HP is perpendicular to VP. But he says, draw its projections when the side on which it rests is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. So here I have read down BC perpendicular to VP. But it has to be at an angle to VP. So friends, I am going to redraw this figure. Say figure number 3 as figure number 4 with that BC on which the object is resting on HP is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. So I have taken some point at random, mark that angle 30 degree because inclination to VP can be seen in the top view. And on this, that BC should come on this because that is the edge on which it is resting. So I will mark this B and C here. If this is B, this is C. And a line like this, take a middle line or bisect of that. And on this friends, take the measurement of this gap and mark here, open the point A. So A, B, C, you have got, sorry, this is, this is O, sorry, this is O, and this is O, and A is at this distance, mark here, suppose A is here. So you got all the corners A, B, and C, and O also we have got here, friends. Now friends, after obtaining this O, B, C here, you join these lines as usual. So I am going to join A to B, A to C, O to B, O to C, O to A. So O to A is a full line. But again friends, this has to be dotted. B, C should be a dotted line. Because that is not visible in the top view. So figure number 3 and this figure number 4 are exactly identical. And this concept everyone of you should remember. Friends, finally, let's obtain what is called the corresponding print view for this. Friends, let us start with these points one by one and obtain the points. A. Suppose A if I want to take. A is here. Horizontal line from A. A vertical line from here. The point where these two intersect. That is the vertical from there and the horizontal from here, the point of intersection, we will call it as A dash. Likewise, B, vertical from B, horizontal from B, they intersect at this point, this point we will call it as B dash. Likewise, C, C also lies on this line. So, write a vertical line from C, a horizontal line from C dash, they meet at this point we will call this as C dash. So A dash, B dash, C dash represent the three corners of the triangular pyramid. Finally, friends, we want O. Let us write a horizontal line from O, a vertical line from here. The point where these two intersect is the point O. So O dash is the vertex. Friends, now you have to join all these. So I have to join vertex O dash to A dash, O dash to C dash, O dash to B dash. So let us join them. So O dash to A dash, A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to O dash. You have joined all these. Now friends, this BC which is on that is shown here. Then finally I am left with this point 
or the line a dash c dash friends this is how it looks in the front view and it is also marked mark what is called o1 dash a horizontal from here a vertical from this o1 dash will give you a point somewhere here so we can just join that also to, to that so it is o1 dash friends you can see here that the object is resting on b dash c dash b dash c dash is one of the edges of the base and the corner opposite to that is a that is at a height of 20 millimeter above the hp as required in the question and is asking you after getting the projection measure also measure the angle made by the axis and the base with hp friends here if you just see in the second position this line represents the base and this will give you what angle the base is making i will say theta 1 is the angle made by the base a dash b dash c dash with the hp and if you want to measure the angle made by the axis axis is o dash o1 dash and this angle is to be found out friends here remember the axis and the base are perpendicular to each other if this is making theta 1 this will be making theta 2 so remember theta 1 plus theta 2 plus this angle is equal to 180 so theta 1 plus theta 2 is 90 degree that is to say if the base is making 40 degree the axis should make 50 degree if the axis is making 60 degree this has to be at an angle of 30 degree and friends finally we have got the projections this is print view of the pyramid and this is the top view of the pyramid and this is satisfying all the requirements that are asked in the question friends i hope you are happy with the presentation and if you feel this is of some use to the students doing their engineering program please subscribe to this channel share the information with all your friends and have a wonderful day thank you very much